Uh, the NCAA baseball tournament will be starting the College World Series on Saturday. Um, we are down to the eight teams that are headed to Omaha. North Carolina took out South Carolina in three games. Um, last game was on Tuesday because of rain delays and stuff, so North Carolina won those games. Um, they won the first one 6-5, to five, lost the second one 8 to nothing, and won the third one 5-4. to four. So North Carolina is 57-10, and 10 and they're moving on. North Carolina State swept Rice 4-3 uh, and 5-4, and they're 49-14. and 14. They're on to Omaha. UCLA swept Cal State Fullerton 5-3 and 3-0. They're 44-17. and 17. LSU swept Oklahoma 2-0 and 11-1. They're 57-9. and 9. Louisville with a big upset, sweeping the number two overall team, Vanderbilt, five to three and two to one. They are fifty-one and twelve. Indiana, another upset sweep here. They swept Florida State ten to nine and eleven to six. They are forty-eight and fourteen. This is their first ever College World Series appearance, and it's the first time a Big Ten team has made the College World Series since nineteen eighty four when Michigan did it. Mississippi State swept Virginia 11 to 6 and 6 to 5. They are 48 and 18. And then Oregon State won in three games over Kansas State. They lost game one 6 to 2. They won game two 12 to 4, and they won game three 4 to 3. And they are 50 and 11. So all the eight teams in the College World Series are one seeds. Um, I think this only Indiana. I think it's Indiana is the only team that's making its first trip. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. As far as teams that have won it before, LSU has won it six times, and uh, Oregon State has won it twice. Other than those two, which ironically happen to be at the bottom here, the six above that have never won it before. North Carolina has been to the championship. They went two straight years, I believe it was, and they lost to Oregon, Oregon State in those two years, and this was not too long ago when that happened. But, uh, <clears throat> but there's your eight teams. And uh, North Carolina, the overall number one, they're still in there. Um, they've had a couple scares early on. They've lost in each round so far, but two losses in a round is the killer, and they haven't had that. Um, play starts Saturday. Um, this bracket over here will start Saturday night, and then they'll go on Sunday, these guys. Uh, double elimination for each bracket here. Louisville will start off with Indiana, and Mississippi State will start off with Oregon State. The winners will meet on Monday and the losers. And then Wednesday, I believe, is the championship of the winners uh, of the of this bracket. And then if there's a, um, a loser, or if the winner lose, winner's champion loses, then they would have to play again the very next day. Um, Sunday, these guys face North Carolina plays North Carolina State. UCLA plays LSU. And then Tuesday... The winners will play and the losers will play, and then I think it's Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's Wednesday when they'll play. Um, <clears throat> winner and losers bracket champion will win or will play, and then if they have to have uh, another game, if the winners bracket champion loses, then they'll have to play again the very next day. And then the national championship will be, um, I think, a little over a week. So each bracket here will have one team make it out alive and then we'll have our national championship so uh, as far as my bracket is concerned got North Carolina right um, like I said Oregon was gone in the first round so that one kinda hurt I had Cal State Fullerton over UCLA and that didn't happen LSU got that Vanderbilt and Florida State I had those two and as you can see Vanderbilt was my national champion so that one really kills Florida State getting upset by Indiana um, and then Mississippi State and Oregon State I had correct. So I can only get one more point, and that's uh, North Carolina in the national championship. Right now I've got 17 points out of a possible 20, uh, out of, you know, the whole bracket. There's 27 um, points possible, and I've got 17 so far, which is better than last year when I had like 12, 13, or 14, something like that. So definitely a better year of predicting this. But, um, you know, some of the big names, big names like Vanderbilt took a hit, so that hurt.